so I have an unboxing for you with BH Cosmetics. A few things that I wanted to pick up and so I put in an order. They had quite a few specials on so I was able to get some really good deals. It's arrived and I thought I would do an unboxing and show you guys what I got. Shipping to Australia was a bit expensive. I think it cost me around 20... I'd say between $21 and, and $30, something like that. So when I saw how expensive shipping was, that's when I decided to put a few things in the order because I didn't want to, you know, pay for, for something that was cheap and then pay $20 something dollars in postage, which is quite expensive. So... So packaged really well. So... So that's another look. Alright, so the first thing I got, the first thing that made me put the order in, I think is in here. Yes. The It's Duty Time palettes. Now, I have to say, my first impression, these are actually really small. They're, they're a lot smaller than I expected for some reason. I'm not sure why. But I picked up two of them, so just keep that in mind. <laughs> I've been wanting to try this for a while. Judy posted a picture of her using it. And I just thought, oh, I love palettes. I have heaps of them, but this, I just thought, looked really beautiful. So I thought I would um, pick it up and add it to my collection. I'll open it up. Um, I've got the invoices. So the Duty Time palettes, these are on special. I got them for $12.95 each. I believe full price they're like, I'm pretty sure it said $28. And I would not pay $28 for a palette this small. I, I'll be honest with you. Um, but let's have a look and I'll open it up. The packaging is beautiful. It's very smooth. So it magnetizes and opens up and it's got a beautiful mirror. Um, I love that it has natural is beautiful but makeup is glam. And oh, so this has a little protector so I'll just get rid of that. Now it is made out of cardboard and it has a magnetic shut. So very similar to the very first Naked palette if you have that. Now I'll zoom in just to show you the shadows. So it's got a beautiful mix of um, mattes, shimmers, glitters. It's mainly all neutrals and then you've got a few pops of those pretty purples and some blues. So I just, yeah, I think it'll be a really beautiful palette to have. I'll swatch a couple colours, so let's have a look. So I'll swatch... This one, oh, they are soft. Oh, wow, and they're pigmented too. And I'll swatch um, that one. Very soft. And then a purple. Um, oh, nice. That color's beautiful. So, they're the three that I swatched. So... That's pretty amazing <laughs> with no um, base or anything. That's pretty gorgeous. Okay, and I'll swatch one more this second of purple. Because we all know how bad purples can be. So that's it there. Oh, wow. Gorgeous. Swatch this one again. It's so pretty. These purples are beautiful. And this gold, this is pretty. I love that goldy colour. Gorgeous, wonderful pigmentation. So I'm super duper happy about that. That is wonderful. And I, I love that first dark colour. This one up here. Where is it? There. That's going to be beautiful. Super happy that I picked that up. Again, I was surprised at the size. Um, I did think it was going to be bigger. I'll compare it to the naked one to just show you guys. 
So that's the Naked and that's the Duty Time. So, um, yeah. That way, I mean, I always, I feel like everyone has a naked palette, so it's a nice way of sort of comparing, I guess. But to be honest with you, though, with the naked and the, the it's duty time, sometimes I find the naked palettes are a little bit awkward because of how long they are. And I much prefer eyeshadows that are in a rounder shape because I want to feel like I'm actually going to finish them one day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like these, I feel like I'm never ever going to finish. They're going to take me a hundred years because they're so big. And, you know, I don't mind paying money, but I also want to be able to eventually finish my makeup. <laughs> That's so funny. But anyway, but these are beautiful and I'm super happy that I picked it up. And I'm very glad that I picked up a second. The next thing I picked up is a little blush duo and I picked up the color lilac so super cute packaging I really wanted to pick up more of these I believe this one was three $3.95 yes so $3.95 um, I've seen this one around for ages and I just I don't know love it I just think it's super duper pretty. So you've got the duo of it's um it's more like a yeah like a, a baby doll pink and then like a highlighter. So um, and then you've got a really cute little mirror. So I'll just swatch these guys. So soft, like I'm not even kidding. They are so super duper soft. Okay, so I'll give them a good swatch. Sometimes I feel like with products like this, they have like an over spray so sometimes you have to like get down underneath that before you sort of get to the the product but that's those two so we'll just go up a bit more I'll just swatch that pink again so buttery soft they're a little bit powdery They'll have to be one of these things that I'll have to test out and see how they go on my skin because they may be a little bit too light for me. So, um, but I really wanted to try it out anyway. They have some really gorgeous colors, love the packaging and they were so, so cheap. So I just decided to pop that in and give it a go. Yeah, I'll have to try this and see how it works. So the next item that I'm so excited about is this brush set. So let's open it up. Now, these remind me so much of the Sigma collection. Of course, I got the pink and I think it's a dark brown, like a chocolate brown. I can't really see in this light. It could be black. I'm not sure. But the top, you've got BH Cosmetics and the sides clip. And it opens up and you've got all your brushes. Now, these are your little brush holders. These are all packaged really nicely in the plastic and I've got to zoom in and show you guys these because they are so adorable. Look at the little polka dots. They're just, that's just one of the brushes. This is the one I'm most excited about because I don't have a brush like this at all. And it's got BH Cosmetics um, engraved in the side in gold. Um, they've got the gold ferrules and then the pink. It's either brown or black. I'm so sorry. I can't see properly in this lighting. And then the, the top looks like it's tinted very lightly with pink. So, so adorable, right? I've got to take some out and show you guys. So, so what's this one? So this looks like just like a nice little um, powder or blush brush. Oh, they're soft too. This was $24.95, this whole set, which is a really good value. Now, it's got heaps of, like, eye brushes and stuff. It's got one of these foundation brushes. I don't tend to use those. I do like to use these for face masks, though, so it's always nice to have those on hand. If you're ever wondering if you want to use one of those face masks, use the little foundation brushes because they're perfect to get the mask around your face evenly. 
Now I've got an angled brush which would be perfect for like contouring or even a bit of highlight. So I imagine once you start using these they'll sort of start to fluff out a bit but they're really soft and they are synthetic so I'll zoom in otherwise it'll take me forever to get through all these with you guys. So these are all the different eye brushes. Now I love how small these are because all my other makeup brushes are much larger and my eyes, I have sort of hooded eyes so I have to be very careful with where I place certain colours otherwise you don't see them. So brushes like, I mean this one is adorable. Look how tiny that is. This would be perfect for like right under the eye, like for smudging. But also if you want to have like some real precision, that is beautiful. And it's just so tiny. It's so cute. Um, what's another one? Probably this one. They don't have names on them that, that I can see. So they don't have names. I'm sorry. Um, this is just another perfect like blending brush so you could totally use that for blending or even highlighting so they're just really wonderful sizes I absolutely love these this is value for money these have exceeded my expectations that's the best way to put it I wasn't expecting much for $24.95 to be honest with you but these are really beautiful they really are I'll just open the rest of these up and I just love the polka dots they are just so adorable I love them so that that's the rest of them so you've got some beautiful ones for lining for eyebrows for concealer and you know I mean those those brush handles are just so beautiful they are super soft this one I'm the most excited about I mean, you can see how soft that is. So perfect sizes, super soft. I love the short handles as well. I think they're perfect for traveling, perfect for everyday use. Wonderful present for someone as well. So I know they have, I think, one other design online. And I think it's like a pop art one where they're, all the brushes are different colors. But $24.95, this is an absolute bargain and then you can use these to hold your brushes in now the last two things that I have everything's packaged wonderfully thank you so much BH cosmetics now these two were sort of two little additions now they were four dollars fifty and these are heavy okay so I've just got to work this out I got BH Malibu oops okay these are so cute. It's so adorable. It just like opens up. Make sure I don't get my fingers stuck in anything. Okay. Oh wow. And so that's the mirror. Okay. So cute. So that's a protector. So I picked up two. I got this one because I've never seen anything like this. This $4.50. Like, are you kidding me? You cannot buy anything like this in Australia. I thought these are probably colours that I'll, I'll I'll wear. So this is why I picked this one up. Um, I love these colours, like the bronzing. And um, there were a lot of sort of like quite neutral colours. But then some pops of colour, which I thought would be sort of nice. So, And it's all magnetic. So it closes beautifully. And by the way, this is totally not sponsored. I bought all this with my own money. And... If I thought it was crap, I'd totally tell you. <laughs> so the next one I got is BH San Francisco. I just love it. These are smaller than I expected, but again, I... <gasps> what happened there? <gasps> I just had an eyeshadow fall out. No! Wait, let me get it. Where'd it go? Okay, so that was a, f <laughs> a fail. So... Oh, what a mess. This is so disappointing. Okay, so I opened up this side. I don't know if you can see all the mess. But this... <laughs> this... 
this color here a big chunk of it fell out and hit my floor and I've literally got a black mark on my floor and it's just gone everywhere how disappointing oh I'm gonna have to email them this one I was most excited about with the two so that is not good that's very sad I really hope nothing else falls out um, okay I have to be careful now <gasps> okay okay so I just had another eyeshadow fall out off the other side holy moly what is going on see up the top here it completely fell out so I'm just gonna stick it back in there carefully that's that's disappointing they're cheap but far out please let nothing else fall out as you can see with this set um, it's definitely got a lot of neutrals and it was the one I was most excited about until the black fell out and then this one popped out I've just pushed it back in but it's just sitting in there I've got black all over my hands at the moment which is not good so um, I'm gonna have to email BH about this one so um, hopefully I can get a replacement because it's not looking good but anyway I'm like scared that stuff's gonna fall out everywhere on me okay in the bottom of the box there's like a little card that just says you know please let us know what you think follow us and they've got some spring some new spring arrivals that look like they're in sort of metal tins so um yeah i've got to <laughs> clean up this mess that is such a really disappointing way to end a video because i was so excited about everything until that happened and i mean this is like a huge chunk i don't know if you guys can see but that's a huge chunk of eyeshadow to just come out of it so anyway the it's duty time palette and the brushes i absolutely love i think they're wonderful and i can't wait to use the it's duty time palette now the reason that i got a second it's duty time palette is for a giveaway and now if you've watched this far through the video then yay so i will be doing a giveaway once i hit 500 subscribers now i know i'm a fair way off but I'll slowly be collecting items as I go along and I'll be putting them together. I'm either going to do like um, one huge giveaway or maybe five giveaways. Um, so I'll see how I go and as, as time progresses, but I'll be putting that one aside. So I'm super excited that it's wonderful quality because if I love it, then it's good enough for you guys. Thanks very much for watching this unboxing with me and hopefully I can get... Um, a replacement for that San Francisco because that was my favorite and they're all just falling out on me that's very sad but anyway thanks very much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video see you later bye